Hello. In this video, you will learn how to perform a linear interpolation between two vectors in Python. We will create a vector2 class to represent a coordinate in space. We will create two instances of the vector2 class to represent a start point and end point. Linear interpolation can be used to calculate every point between the start point and end point at any given time between 0 and 1. In order to achieve this, we need to be able to add two vectors and to multiply a vector with a scalar value. To do this, we override the add and multiply operators of the vector class. Finally, we write the lerp function to interpolate between two vectors. Let's go! Let's start by creating the vector class. It's called vector2. It has an initializer. It takes an x and a y value. Let's create a string method that returns a nicely formatted string. with our x value and y value. Like this. So let me create a vector. Vector1 equals vector vector2. Um, and we'll give it a value of 100, 100. So this is a coordinate at 100, 100. X is 100. Y is 100. And if we print this thing, when we execute the code, we see that it prints out 100, 100. No surprises here. Okay, let's create a second vector. So vector 2 equals vector 2 at 200, 200. And of course, if we print this, that will work too. So what we want now is we need to be able to add two vectors. So if we would print vector one plus vector two, then Python will give us an error and it will say, uh, this is an unsupported operand, I cannot add two vectors. So we need to be able to add two vectors. So we do this by overriding the add operator from this class. And we do that by writing the add magic method, which takes self and it will take another vector. And this one can then return a new vector, vector two, where we return self x plus other x, comma, self y plus other y. So if we uh, execute this, then this should work now. And we also see that they are the correct values because if we add vector one at 100, 100 and vector two at 200, 200, we get a new vector at x 300, y 300. So that's one method that we need. Now the second method that we need is a multiply uh, method. We need to be able to multiply a vector. For example, if we say, I'd like to have uh, vector one multiplied by 1.5, then that should return us 150 comma 150. But uh, if I do this, if I execute this, then again, Python gives us an error and it tells us um, it cannot add, um, it cannot multiply a vector two with a float. So we need to fix that as well. We do that similarly, in a similar way, we add uh, a new function and this one is called uh, dunder mull. And um, it takes self, of course. And this time it does not take another vector, but it takes a scalar value. I just call it scalar 
A scalar value means that it is a uh, single value, like an integer or a float. So it's not a complex structure like a vector that has multiple values in it. So um, what we do here is we return um, a new vector, a new vector two. And uh, what we do is we take uh, self.x and we multiply it with this scalar value. And we do the same for y times scalar value. So like this. And now if we execute the code, we see that we can actually multiply a vector. So now vector one at 100 comma 100 becomes a vector at 150 comma 150. Let's check this for another value. So if we say times 175, that works as well. Okay, so now we have two methods that we need for our um, lerp uh, function. Now the lerp function takes two vectors, so I'm not going to put it in the vector class. I'm just going to create a small function here and I call it lerp. And what it does, it, it takes vector one and it takes vector two, which is the start and the end point, and it takes a time. And um, the time, um, is a value between 0 and 1. So um, what this does, and uh, the calculation actually is very simple, uh, it takes uh, vector 1, uh, it multiplies it by 1 minus the time, and it adds the second uh, vector, which is then multiplied by time. Now, let's remove this print statement. So, and I'll create one more print statement at the end. And I call the lerp function and I uh, add vector one and vector two. And let's say that I want to have the coordinate at time zero, which should be just the first vector. So 100 comma 100. So let's execute this. And that works. So now I get the interpolation at time zero, which is the starting point. If I would do the same for one, I would get 200 comma 200. And that works too. Now, now I can of course play with this value. So I can write, what is the location, the coordinate at exactly half of the time. So it should be in between the two vectors, which should be 150 comma 150. So let's check that and that works as well. Um, let me check one more example to see if that works too, which is uh, negative values. For example, if I would say this vector one starts at x minus 100, y 100 and goes to x 100 minus 100, then a value in the middle, like at half of the time should exactly be vector zero, zero. Let's see if that works as well. And that works. So here is how you do that. Here is how you lerp between two vectors. And in order to do it, we created a vector2 class and we overloaded the add and multiply uh, operators and then wrote a lerping um, function that you see at uh, line 18 and 19. And that is the calculation to calculate the interpolation between vector one and vector two at a given time. I hope this helps.